Oh, hey, oh, hey. It is February 11th, and we are back with another video. It is an update video. Uh, I am in New York. No, I'm not in New York. That's a lie. Um, I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. Well, no, I'm not in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm actually in Saratoga Springs, Utah. But I was in Salt Lake yesterday in a few couple days. And for those of you who uh, don't know, I'm back in Utah. So come find me here. I'm gonna be here probably till about the 25th of February. Then I have to go rescue my car on another quest because uh, I have to go clean him out, get him repaired. And um, he is currently chilling in Rochester, New York. So I have to fly back. But I have a few things that I need to do here in Utah, uh, just mainly with my business, visiting some people, speaking with the family and uh, may or may not be seeing a special someone. Okay, anyway, let's do a little rundown report of what my experiences have been like. Now I'm gonna try and talk and share what my experiences have been like with everybody, but I think let's just start with, um, I went and I got my hair done, dreadlocks. It's not all the way done because I still need to get this cut off to the side. So that's gross. And I feel a little silly. Um, I'm, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the last video I talked about how I wasn't going to sue superstars. Um, then afterwards I found out they called the cops on me. So uh, I'm going to sue them now. So that was a change of pace, right? And so that's gonna happen. Um, well, I won't be getting too much into the details here on it, but let's just say that my goal is to let as many people know about what happened and just let justice prevail however it needs to, right? Um, but you know, we're not gonna let that top us down. It was a little distressful. I'm not, it was a little stressful, I'm not gonna lie, for about two or three days. Um, it was expensive in a lot of ways, and it felt like the trip uh, maybe is gonna be more fruitful on the back end, but definitely like on that front end, it was a lot of, it, was, it didn't give as much back as I had hoped, so that was frustrating. But I got my dreadlocks done. I wanna thank Fatima, Jen, and John at Salt Lake City Dreadlocks for, who helped with that. A really cool crocheting method that they do. It's one of the reasons I like going there. Um, don't call women who are in relationships dear. That's one thing Fatima told me. She's the girl that did my hair. Really appreciate that. Shout out to you, Fatima. Um, let's talk about afterwards. I met up with a friend, longtime friend, Troy McIntyre, really, really cool guy. We were actually able to have a podcast. I bumped into this beautiful girl. Um, she's this Chinese girl but she looks really white like okay i say she's chinese she's not actually chinese guys i'm pretty sure she's full-blooded caucasian blonde hair blue eyed but uh we're gonna call her the chinese girl um we're gonna call her uh just the chinese girl that's what we're gonna call her even though she's not actually chinese right um and then we met up with this guy a total jack of all trades he uh, was starting a very interesting business and we had a bit of a podcast for that. So we'll put that down in the description below. Actually, well, I'm gonna do this update video and then I'll drop it out in the system below once the actual podcasts are released, which they'll start being released um, tomorrow on the 15th. So you'll see different episodes and they'll start popping up with these updates. But a lot of this is going to be coming up in the Onion Yapo Raising Project. So once again, the idea behind this is obviously create the content, but the idea is you're going to need maximum engagement. So none of this is going to be handed to you. Um, found out a girl that I've been crushing on for a while uh, got really, really sick. So we had to move our date to today, to her Valentine's Day. And she said it wasn't a date, but then it was a date, and I'm not sure. I'm just counting it as an experience. I made an adventure, guys. I made a whole adventure based upon the game, specifically for her. I'm not gonna be sharing it with anybody else, just for her. So I'm super excited to see how that's gonna turn out. Um, I won't take her name right now, but know that she's very special, and so she's getting the full version of adventure mode, and I'm gonna do it for her. But this is gonna be experience I hope to give to as many people as possible. So then after that, I went to Barnes & Noble, which was really cool. I spoke to some pretty cool people. Had a very interesting uh, conversation with a fellow gamer. They were a redhead. And at first, it was interesting because I felt like they were probably a little put off by me because they didn't know why I was talking to them. But you know, just using the principles of the game, we were able to speak and uh, get a little bit of a, a dialogue there. So I'll be sending them this video so we can connect a little bit. And uh, they had some really interesting insights on game as well as just conversating and general connection. I just really, um, I'll call you the redhead um, who may or may not have. So if you guys have seen Edward Sitter's hands, 
their name may or may not be related to one of the characters in Edward Scissorhands. Um, but know that I remember you, uh, the redhead, and it was a very good conversation, and I appreciate you, what you said. Now, we had a really as interesting one with my Uber driver. He was Brett. Um, he was did really big into arbitrage, and it was a really, really cool podcast. Learned a lot about just what it was like for him coming from Australia to being here in the US and being LDS, and it was just a really, really good talk. You guys should check out that episode when you find it. It's really, really fun. Um, it's about Brett and the cab. Then also while at Barnes & Noble, I met this guy named Star Chaser, and I'll call this other, this other person, I'll call them band. We're gonna call them Band of Singers. And Band of Singers was interesting because Band of Singers is, was very interesting because I could tell that they wanted Star Chaser's attention. Um, I don't know if it was for the most transparent reasons, right? And I think they were having a hard time connecting with Star Chaser as a result of that because I don't even know if Star Chaser is aware of it, but consciously or subconsciously, Star Chaser could see that the invitations for questioning and curiosity were less about being genuinely invested into Star Chaser, but more about trying to bring the attention back to Band of Singers. And I don't know if Band of Singers realizes that. And I was trying to tell them that, but I was like, eh, it's not really my place to say it right now, especially in front of everybody. But Band of Singers, if you're seeing this, you should know that part of what your questioning is, is because really your intention behind it is you want them to ask that question back to you because you have something you wanna say and rather than just saying it, you're asking a question so that they'll return the question so that you can say what you wanna say. And it's obvious in how you ask your questions, right? So there's nothing wrong with that, but just know that that's what you're doing and notice that, that if other people notice that's what you're doing, if they wanna engage with you, they will. But um, if you wanna build up the sincerity meter, uh, just share your mind and don't ask permission like that. Just tell people what you're thinking rather than doing the whole questioning thing to look like you care when you don't, right? Just say what you want to say. Um, so that's a little advice for band of singers. Uh, take it or leave it. Um, really, really cool. Interesting one with Lidsky, right? Lid of a bottle. We'll call them Lidsky, just Lidsky had a really interesting conversation. They were working at the front counter in Barnes & Noble. We had a very interesting conversation. And yeah, Lidsky, I just really appreciate it. We had a really awesome podcast. And um, Lidsky, a lot of the things that they shared, as well as what I just appreciated about Lidsky's approach was that you could tell that they were a little out of their depth playing the game and that it was pretty uncomfortable. But we saw that they had a very natural talent for holding attention. And so um, I hope the advice that we shared talking about a potential like music career is definitely on the horizon because I think that's something that's key. I see a legitimate talent and skill for that. I don't even know what their music sounds like, but just understanding their energetic potential revealed through the game. I think that's something they Litsky would be really good at. So I hope Litsky, I hope you pursue that and I hope you do that. Anyway, guys, that's the update. Um, I'd love to like give you guys like a profound lesson or whatever, but just the biggest lesson here is I just learned that um, when life gives you lemons, make more lemons, and then you can make a ton more lemonade. And so the idea is that even when you get problems or issues, if you just continue to roll with it, that's actually creating opportunities, right? So with this whole like superstars thing, uh, it's created an opportunity. So I just have to go with it. And as well as just staying upright there have been challenges on this journey but i guys i'm still going and it's about being present day to day right so i find my happiness in being present knowing my overall plans but staying present day to day and not trying to overthink things so my day is just going to have a really fantastic valentine's date um meet up with some really good friends that i love and have a good study session and that's all i need to have a good day so uh enjoy the small and simple things guys and the great things will come to pass anyway that's uh the update <laughs> For today, stay happy, stay healthy, and peace. Guys, I'm in Utah, so reach out to me. I'm here to the 25th. Bye.